can get the stream up on my phone for a mic test. Mic test. One, two. I don't know why I'm mic testing. I'm not even at the stream yet. I'm not even at the stream yet. Mic test. One, two, one, two. Mic test. One, two, one, two. Cool. That's going to loop for a little bit. Welcome back. Uh, here's the thing. Both previous attempts to stream this part, I've had internet go out. Welcome to the stream, glad to have you. Uh, I don't know where I am. A little previous save to, like, before this. Maybe it didn't. Am I? I don't remember what if it happened last stream. Now, I don't remember if I actually got through the cutscene or not. I'm gonna check it real quick. Did we get through the cutscene last time? Did we actually manage to get through the cutscene? Yes, we did. Okay. We did get through the cutscene last time. So my uh, non-auto save is the correct save. So I will load my correct save. Since it is correct. Welcome to the stream. Glad to have you. I'm going to turn my volume up a bit. I want to hear the game a bit more. I saw the health bar. Where is it? No holding back. Limit break. Welcome to stream. Glad to have you. Dragon defeated. All right, uh, well, I know that much. I'm just going to go this way. What do I see? I don't need to fight more spiders. Any other cool enemies for me to fight? Like Chocobo, I'll fight them. Or I will not fight them, I guess. I'll go fight that.
There we go. Not reach. You're in my way. XP. Hello, Northreach. The soldiers used to speak of a brothel. And that was north of the checkpoint. I had the dame as friends in the south. Welcome, good. A drop of the Empire's finest? No, I fancy the merchant I see here. Do you see anything you like? Hmm. Buying meteorite is interesting. An excellent choice. That's the best I can do. Thank you. I doubt you'll get more than that in the capital. You've a keen eye. I do like a customer who knows what he wants. By four of you, three of you. There we go. Customer who knows what he wants. That's the good on that. You won't find carpets like this in the Ah, here we go. Afford even that much of my time, branded. My mistake. No, mine. Upon reflection, you don't have the scent of a branded about you. The flowers. Otto always did know how to please me, more than Sid ever did, anyway. <laughs> Do you think you could please me? You. And call me Isabel. Otto assured me I could trust you. What do you do? Long ago, Sid did me a kindness when no one else would. I have never forgotten that. Without it, I would not be where I'm. Obstacle between you and whatever it is you seek in the holy capital. I seek the mommy crystal. I fear the guards are not likely to let a masterless bearer pass unmolested. Unless... Unless... <laughs> Come on, Clive, it can't be that bad. Hey, Daisy. What are you doing? Tut tut. We cannot have people thinking I tolerate disobedience from my branded. The men who gave me this are no more my masters than you are. But it's not as if I can hide it. From the moment you acquired it, that brand has done naught but take. But today, it is going to give you exactly what you want. 
Just play along. I said I was about to start, Daisy. Madame. Back to the vial already. But of course. In fact, told you I was starting. To welcome to stream. Glad to have you. And who might this be? Why, my new escort. The streets aren't safe for a girl, what with all the royalists about. <laughs> well, don't work him too hard. Well, that rather depends on you now, doesn't it? I'll see you all at sunset. Dick. Welcome to the stream, glad to have you. That wasn't so bad. Wasn't so bad. They might have recognized me. But they didn't. And even if they had, they wouldn't have done anything about it. The gentlemen of the garrison are some of my best customers. We have an arrangement. As do you and I. Now, if you'd care to follow me, we can speak more at the Vale. Doesn't seem like I have much of a choice. It's because you really don't, Clive. And if anyone requests her company, tell them she is. You look stunning. As do you, my dear. Shall I have one of the girls draw a bath? That won't be necessary. <laughs> Clive, my darling. Welcome to the Vale. Welcome to the stream. Glad to have you. All right, Isabella, what is what's going on? What Thank what's you the favor? Me through the gates, my lady. I am in your debt. Well, that was the whole point, wasn't it? And I told you, it's Isabel. Whatever wound you so tight, I wonder. It's certainly not Sid's influence. You uh, mentioned a favor. What is it you'd have me do? I don't want to keep my companions waiting. If you mean Sid and the girl, you needn't worry. They have yet to reach the checkpoint. Yes. Otto asked me to help them as well. But to answer your question, I need you to find someone for me. One of my girls. Tatienne has been gone for several days now, having left no word of explanation. And I've begun to fear the worst. I feel as if I've spent my whole life searching for people. Though I can't say I'm any good at it. I trust you'll do your best. Oh, and take this. Proof of that trust. And hopefully enough to keep prying eyes from looking too closely at that handsome face of yours. Now, I have matters to attend to at the Iron Flagon. If you find anything, ask for me there. Okay. Sounds like a plan. I should probably start here. You wear the dame's brooch. She must trust you. Enough to help me look for one of your colleagues. A woman by the name of Tatienne. She's still missing then. Oh, if only I'd comforted her. You saw her before she disappeared? The day before. She was in tears. She'd lost her comb. A gift from the dame. It wasn't anything fancy, but you could tell it meant the world to her. You see, Tatienne was an orphan. And she looked upon the dame as a mother. As do we all. So she was upset. And I didn't lend her much older. But perhaps someone else did. Tatian shared a room. Her chambermate may have seen something. She's over there, sitting by the pond. Thank you. Let's see what her chambermate can tell us then. So you're the new escort the girls have been talking about. And you've already been sent off on an errand, eh? Poor boy. You'll be knackered before the real work begins later on tonight. I'm told you share a bedchamber with Tatienne. 
Did she say anything to you before? Before she went missing. Only that she needed to meet with someone. She did mention a name, but I know exactly who she meant. You do? Lad from the garrison. Annoying little <coughs> shit. Spent every gill he earned on Tatien, and picked fights with anyone else who tried to buy her time. Followed her around like a lost puppy. Tatien was flattered at first, but it didn't take long for her to get scared. She thought about saying something. But the dame was so proud of her for how much she was bringing in. And she didn't want to let her down. This man from the garrison. Did you ever see him? Of course I did. He tried to sneak into our room enough times. Slimy sod's got a scar over one eye. Claims he got it in battle. You've been very helpful. Don't let him get away with this. Find him. And you'll find her. A man from the garrison. Seems a trip to the barracks is in order. Would seem so. Well. I suppose you're in the You the lad? I'm looking for a man with a scar over his eye. Looking for a man? Does this look like a brothel branded? Fuck off! Hold your tongue. He wears the dame's brooch. One word from him and the Vale's doors will be barred to us for good. <sighs> There's only one man in the garrison with a dodgy eye. His name's Yannick. I haven't seen him around lately, though. On account of him being in war. Yeah, yeah, Yannick left a few days back. Said he had dealings with a merchant there. The dame, thanks you. Moor is the last village on the road to Oriflam. I should let Isabel know where I'm headed. Sounds like a good idea. Yep. I would have had something like the dame thanks you. Uh, you can expect a possible reward for your information. Now grease the wheels a bit. Clive, tell me you bear good tidings. That remains to be seen. Oh, Tatian, you could have told me. This Yannick. The soldiers I spoke to believe he's in the village of Moor. According to them, he claimed to have some business with a merchant there. Though that wouldn't explain his continued absence. And you plan on traveling to Moor to ascertain the truth? Isn't that what you want? Oh, it, it is. But I fear sending you there may cause more harm than good. The people of Moor are rather set in their ways. I you see. A little love for bearers. And they will not hesitate to report one such as you to the constabulary. There is a man in Moor who owes me a favor. More than one, in fact. His name is Bertrand, and he works at the stables. Tell him I send you. I shall return as soon as I find something. All right. And then we hit the road again. They may have given you leave to walk freely now. Oriflam, right, how many bearers suffer to keep your granaries full? Yeah. 
wins. Sorry, Chocobo, but you're done for. More chocobo. Almost leveled up. Almost there. Oop, another fight. Cool, you guys level me up. Level up. Twenty-two. If the people of Moor are as intolerant as Isabel says, it's no wonder the Empire never sent my unit here. Expecting any new branded into Hello, merchant. Buy, sell, or be gone. Hey, okay, at least you'll you'll talk to me. I'll I'll buy your meteorite. And... Fight uh sure. Go on. Take it. Hey dude, I just give you a bunch of money. You can be uh, a little bit cooler, bro. If that's what you want. <laughs> Give it a quick save. There's the stableman. Are you Bertrand? The dame sent me. Sounds about right. Only time I hear from her is when she wants something. Well, go on then. What is it? One of her courtesans has gone missing. And I need to find her. A soldier who may have information on her whereabouts is rumored to have come here to meet with a trader. Many traders stopped to peddle their wares on their way to the capital, but only one's been seen quarreling with a soldier. Is he still here? The trader? Oh, yeah. Stubborn sod stood his ground till the soldier got <laughs> tired of shouting from what That's I fun. If you seek him out, keep your head down. Fact is, folks round here would sooner hang a branded than help him. And that's even with the dame's brooch for protection. Understood. What's this? A branded? Where's your master? Must I call for the constable? I come to you from Northreach. Welcome to the stream. Glad to have you. The dame. Perhaps you've heard of her. 
Oh, why, of course I am. I am the good lady's servant. Oh, oh, what is it that she requires of me? Rumor has it you were seen arguing with a soldier some few days ago. A soldier with a scar over his eye. Uh, yes. Uh, yes, that's right. Uh, he had a comb which he <laughs> claimed was an antique. Said he wanted to trade it for a newer one. But although it was an antique, it most certainly was not, as I told him. And nevertheless, he insisted that it was of great value and was quite vehement about my appraisal. I stood firm, however, and for all his bluster, he still purchased a new comb, albeit an inexpensive one. And do you know where he went after that? My customers aren't usually in the habit of telling me whither they are bound, but as it happens, this one did. Yonder ruins, strange as it may sound. My thanks. Not at all. I would do anything for the day. Anything. Well, I will let her know. Uh, be sure and tell her, won't you, that I was helpful. I mean, most helpful. I will. Welcome to the stream. Glad to have you. To the ruins. I will be right back. I return. I has food. I will eat it during cutscene. Of death here, Togo. Wolves. We can't let them get any closer to the village. Damn it all. Bodies. Well, the wolves have been busy, but the blood is long dry. That's true, and the body next to hers will be Yannick's. The girl Yannick went off to sea every night. 
You said her name was Tatian. You. Did you follow me? No, why would I do that? Unless you think I'd have good reason to. But no. I'm sorry. I'm set to find Yannick. By the looks of things, I have. We both found who we were searching for. Nah, he was a jealous sod. Couldn't stand the thought of his woman with someone else. Then one day he sees her with a new comb. Thinks she's got herself a new gallant. Tells the garrison he's going to find the man and kill him. We know it's all talk, but then he disappears off to more for some dealings and doesn't come back. If you mean this comb, it was a gift from the dame. <sighs> if only Yannick had bothered to ask, eh? He might not be rotting on a hill. I think he meant to ask her something else. He stole the old comb and bought her a new one in the hope they'd wed. Wed? Where would they have gone? Certainly not back to Northreach with a dame waiting. And we all know what happens to deserters. Tell the dame I'm sorry for her loss. When the lads come to collect Yannick's body, I'll see that Tatian is delivered to the Vale. Is that wise? Oh, there won't be any covering up this mess. The most we can hope for is that the dame doesn't hold it against us. Speaking of which, I saw her in Moor just now. Could you tell her what happened? Might sound better coming from you. I need to tell Isabel. Perhaps the comb will give her something to remember Tatien by. that needed delivering, I could have seen to it, my lady. You are still in one piece, I see. You will be pleased to hear that your companions have arrived. They said they would meet you at a little chapel to the east of here. Thank you, but... you needn't have come all this way just to tell me. I was on my way to see you. You... you found her then? Common for a client to fall for a courtesan. Especially a client who is young and far from home. But rarely do such tales have happy endings. I found this with Tatien. I believe it was yours. for returning it. I shall see that it has a place on her pyre. I should go. Before you do, I have one last gift. A token of my thanks. The veil counts among its patrons several high-ranking officers of the Imperial Army. According to one of the looser-tongued gentlemen, it would appear that the legions are planning to march south. Or to mention the same thing. Ah. But did he mention that it was all of the legions? This is no mere skirmish. Were I to guess, I'd say the Emperor planned to abandon the capital. But that couldn't possibly be true now, could it? Take care, Clive. I will. And thank you again.
You like that, don't you? The plot thickens. Oh, we gotta go all the way up there. Weren't expecting any new branding until the new Hello, you two. I assume you're back here. Any trouble on the way? None worth mentioning. <clears throat> As I was telling Jill, it's worse than I thought. The capital's crawling with soldiers. <laughs> and here I am, the deserter come home. Which is why we'll be taking the back door. In the capital, the pleasure houses. in the Empire, didn't it? <laughs> Brothel. Want to finish that statement, Sid? Really? Doesn't seem very private. So then, how do we proceed? We'll be using the glass gate. Tonight, just after sunset. Where the shards are loaded for transport. That is one of the most heavily guarded points in all of Sambrek. But not the most. Which is a start. Besides, I know a shortcut straight to the heart. A shortcut? And how exactly did you come to know about this fatal chink in the Empire's armor? Let's just say I may have attempted something similar before. And may have ended up running for dear life after being discovered by Bahama, but that's not important. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's fine. Sid, if the Mother Crystals truly are the cause of the Blight... If? You wound me, Jill. What I'm trying to say is, if the powers that be know all of this, why do they sit idle and allow it to continue? In case you haven't noticed, the God-fearing people of this realm and their pious leaders care for but one thing, themselves. And they'll do whatever it takes to hold on to power. The rest of us are just a means to an end. The moment you raise your voice against them, you're decried as an outlaw, clapped in irons and slung in a cell to rot. That's pretty true. An outlaw. Whoever controls the crystals controls the realm. But our kind can wield magic without them. To our rulers, we must seem the most convenient of tools. And the most dangerous. But what makes them think they have the right to use us? To leave us to die when our bodies are smashed? Does a nobleman weep for a broken lock? A torn tunic? Excuse me. 
fate means nothing to them. No, this isn't a battle you can win with words. Believe me, I've tried, but nothing ever gets through. The world is simply not ready to listen. So to hell with talking. If they won't give us a say, we'll decide our fates another way. You can't blame a man for wanting to bring an end to all this, can you? Not really. I can't. But what of all the people you mean to rob of their comforts? Are you happy for them to call you outlaw? Sid the outlaw. Ah, that'll do me. <laughs> Might at least pretend to take this seriously. Have a little faith, Jill. Even if you don't think much of my choice of digs. If it means my deeds will be remembered, I'll gladly play the role of villain. But first, we have a gate to crash. And once we're in, there'll be no turning back. So your best mate ready. The world won't save itself. I'm ready. Okay, you will not be able to return. Let's go head up the uh, hideaway first then. Just in case there's any crafting or shit I can do. Look what the curl dragged in. Go on then. Ooh, no. Ooh, no. Ooh, no. Ooh, no. Wait. Yeah, no. Man, I'm kept on those. Finished, are you? You, Smith of Crafting. Well, have so you. Seems you've not to aid me. A shame. Fine. And we'll come quickly look at this. Curious what that is. Oh, I could do I could do the uh, Ifra fight again. That's tempting. Mayhaps later. I heard Otto barking at his lot early. I'm gonna save. Then we'll go to Glassgate. Well, like Chris, no one case is interested. Okay, it's time for us to see what awaits us at Glassgate. I'm expecting big things because of that message. I'm expecting some sick shit about to go down. Drake's head. doesn't take sentry assignment as seriously as you do. This bodes well. Huh. I'll be a first. This may not be such a terrible plan after all. And what exactly is that supposed to mean? 
Only that your last secret shortcut was nowhere near as secret as. Welcome to stream. Glad to have you. Uh, well, that's half the fun of it. Life's too short for perfect plans. We're about to do something I'm big. Do if I had to guess. You're growing old and complacent. Worked for you, has it? Clive, my boy. Even life's smallest challenges offer the opportunity to grow and to change. You must embrace these moments. Allow them to suffuse your heart with a deep sense of fulfillment. <sighs> Narrowly escaping death. Welcome to the stream. Glad to have you. Is not my idea of fulfillment. Hmm. Something wrong? Not at all. Just wondering if the two of you had finished. Welcome to the stream. Glad to have you again. The Crystal's Curse. Come on, this way. Try to stay out of sight. Obviously. The passage is empty. Welcome to the stream. Glad to have you. Ah, we could take him. Of course it is. Perfect plans, Clive. Perfect plans. simple this way this way they never stood a chance thanks Sid the main tunnel that would be my guess. There are sentries everywhere. Let me through. Come on. There we go. Things must come to an end. We Welcome to stream. Glad to have you. That's fine, Sid. We've got him. I'm glad to have you. Oh, you're big. I think this may be the moment I was talking about earlier. What have we here? More insects come to be squashed. You will find my mortar and I only too happy to oblige. Oh, that's a mortar. Okay. The talker. Then let's shut him up.
get parried, nerd. You feel that? Something in the air. Ether. It's ether. Then we better make this quick. I'm glad to have you. Jesus Christ. Welcome to stream, glad to have you. I'm assuming that's Chris. The comms I dragged, yeah, it's definitely Chris. I'm the stream, glad to have you. Ow. There we go. Get with that crit spell. Ooh. I'm gonna use that. I'll never get used to that. The Kashiko know he was still a man. Drowned in ether. It's no way for anyone to go. Equip, equip, equip. This can go for that damage buff. God, duty's a death sentence for this place. Not that Sylvester cares. Flip. Deep of the blessing, my friends. You said being a dominant doesn't have its benefits. Sid, this is an ether flood. There shouldn't be one here, should there? The workers couldn't survive this. Well, it wasn't here last time, I can tell you that. Which means we need to be quick. The ether won't hurt odds, but I'd rather not find out what it's done to everyone else. <laughs> 
That's a fair point, Sid. But also items. I guess we go this way. I'm glad Sam caught up with you, Chris. Chris has been playing on my PlayStation whenever he's spending the night. Uh, worry not, I have not looked when he's played ahead of me. Welcome back, Daisy. We're in the spooky mines. You made the jump. Look on the bright side. At least you won't get lost. Clive is the Balrog. I hope so. You'll be able to work on it. Hmm. Easy peasy. We got us a mother crystal to kill. What well, was a move? Ugh! <sighs> 
Full health, we take those. Welcome to the stream, glad to have you. Oh, that's our chest. We're in the spooky mines right now. If everyone could see what I'm playing. So I'm going to pause. And hopefully the internet will come back. Because I would like my Wi-Fi to fix it. Yeah, Daisy, I know you can hear me. It said, uh, stopping game display, only playing audio and mic. So you can hear the game, you can hear me, but you're not going to have any visual. The PS5 does have the internet connection, it's bad enough. Which is annoying. Because even if it, it gets good again, it's not going to... I don't think it, it usually doesn't change it. It usually just kind of fucks off. And I usually have to restart the stream and start it back up. For people who watch me, I don't know. It's just good to have it, Daisy. It's called moderating. Uh, Sam, so yeah, we have to reset the stream and start it back up. So we'll be back in a minute. We are live once again. Doing my mic yeah. test. My mic test. Cool. Welcome back, everybody. My internet died, but it's back now. In the end, that's what really matters. Let me get set up so I can see the stream. Hey, Daisy. I assumed so. That's why I did a mic test. Okay, back to fighting. Welcome stream, glad to have you. Yeah, 
dodged the first one, did not dodge the second. There we go. Arm looks clear. Let's move on. You gotta be getting close to Mother Crystal at this point, right? Welcome to stream, glad to have you. You gotta be getting close. I see they replaced that wooden door with something a little more sturdy. That's a sword. Is it a good sword? It is a good sword. Equip the good sword. On the count of three. Three. What happened to two? Ask one. <laughs> more. Aye, as soon as you're trying now. As if that was going to keep us out. Are we going to encounter Sahagin? I doubt it. It'd be weird if they're down there, down here. But... Also water. Well, the crystal's just up ahead. And they got a coral sword and all that. I can't see a thing. Well, unless someone's moved it. Okay, what big fight's gonna await us? We're definitely gonna fight something big at the Mother Crystal. So I'm gonna save. I'm gonna be safe and save. I'm gonna play it safe. That up by now. Sorry, state the empire's in. Wait, you don't mean. I, my little game of hide and seek with Bahama ended here. A tragic cost to this remarkable architecture. <laughs> don't blame me, he started it. But how did he make it out alive? You should try it. All right. There we go. I was waiting for enemies. Them again. Something you two want to tell me? Maybe later. My dash I have? Yeah. Yeah, it's one of the Ifrit moves. I got it after my fight with Ifrit. 
That's, that's such a cool fight. Here in the mines. Are the two places connected somehow? If you get a chance, though, it is you should definitely go back and watch my VOD of that fight. It's such a cool fight. Uh, it's not yesterday's stream, but the day before, I believe. Let me break. Hi, Lich. It might be from three days ago, it's just not yesterday's stream. Yeah, it's not yesterday's. Yesterday Marinette kept dying. It's whatever stream was before yesterday's. I believe. I'm gonna stream, glad to have you. Bubble up. When I was in the Imperial Army, soldiers assigned to the glass gate would tell stories about something they called the Guardian. Ooh, what are we gonna saw anything like that when I was last here? Then again, I can't say I made it this far. Whatever the Guardian is, we're about to fight it. We're mid cutscenes, I've, I, I want to be safe and not overwrite my save. Oh, never mind, we're mid cutscene, we're cool. Well, too late. What's this Guardian? Where is it? Where did that come from? If I had to guess... Poor beast. Another victim of the Flood. He wants. Ready, Clive? Always. As ready as I can be.
Clyde, look out! Oh, the best you got, mate? You're going down, Mr. Dragon. There we go. Bye bye, Dwagon. Welcome to the stream. Sanctum lies just beyond. Chances are the palace guard knows we're here. We should move. Not that any sane commander would send his men into a place of watch with this much heat. Clive. Your arms turned to stone. If this all works and the blessing fades, things are likely to get worse for our kind before they get better. Being the last to wield ether will make our talents that much more sought after, by which I mean hunted. I just hope in the end they'll see that we didn't have any other choice, that it was the only way to get us to a better place. Then here I was thinking I was the uncertain one. <laughs> Luckily, two out of three of us have faith in you. And it all starts here. Time to earn that menacing title. Sid the Vicious, was it? Something like that. My guardian wasn't so tough.
Wolf's there. Anyone having second thoughts? Not me. We're with you to the end, Sid. Then what are we waiting for? The other foot to drop, that's what we're waiting for. Because this isn't over. That's what I was looking for. There it is. What's well, been 10 hours 20? Game time, I am at. Uh, is that. 19? I'm at 19 hours, I guess. Which feels wrong, but. I mean, it's in the end of the game. There's more of these than just one, Daisy. I'm pretty sure there's more than one. Last one's probably going to be one under Phoenix Gate. It's beautiful. The heart of Sambrek. I think we're gonna need a bigger sword. I've got a bigger sword. Sword's clearly made of sterner stuff. Me and Clever on the same wave. some lore while we wait yeah Jesus Christ I see the stream dying my phone's about to ask I'm going to lose visual of the stream too So let me know if the stream fully dies, Daisy. I'm going to unpause the cutscene now. Hopefully it's running smooth. My phone's at 1%, so... Okay, I'm going to pause before we see what that is. I'm going to go grab my phone charger. Now we can also keep an eye on the stream. I stepped on something. Also, I saw someone else say something. I'm going to quickly look at what was said. I was up. Uh, where do I look at chat again? Is it on capture options? No. Where do I look at chat again on the PlayStation? Can I look at the chat I missed? It does not look like I can. Oh, let me know pause. Okay, where do I plug you in? <laughs> Is there an open outlet there? It looks like there might be. There is. Plug in. Okay, I'm gonna unpause. Oh, hello. Freeze. What? I need a freeze. What are you? I hate it. Hold 
down. I'm gonna unpause. Get to my stream. And mic test, mic test. And mic test, mic test. Cool. Hey, everybody. I'm Gavin. Welcome back. Internet went out again, of course. Uh, you didn't miss too much. Woke up here. Welcome to the stream. Hey, everybody. Woke up here. Dude's pinned to the wall. And he said, Mythos, show me your strength, let it out, and I'm fighting dudes. Guessing those circles are bad? Yep. Welcome back, Daisy. Okay, you got any more tricks up your sleeve, old guy? Welcome to the stream. Glad to have you. Oh, shit. So we're doing this now. What else can he do? Oh, we got it out. That power. Welcome to the stream. Glad to have you. Different time? for time. Okay. It looks like it's caught up. I'm not dying. Okay, I'm gonna unpause. Hopefully it catches up. Nope, it's still very stuttery. Internet, why are you dying to my internet right now? I'm going to try and pausing again. How, how's my audio sound, actually? Try and pausing again. How, how's my audio sound, actually? Okay, audio sounds fine. Okay. I'm gonna unpause. And this train's gonna fucking work. I remember now. I am fire. I am Mm-hmm. 
Neat. Okay, that's cool. Okay. Sorry, Typhon, but you're getting your ass kicked. Did Internet die again? Is there Internet dying? Yep, it is. I'm going to strangle somebody. Yes, it is a cool fight. I'm enjoying it. But my Internet's making it hard to enjoy. Why is my Internet dying like this? It's back? Okay. And fight's over. Welcome to the stream, glad to have you. I see that. Stream died again. I'm paused. Okay, we're good. Unpause. No, oh, it's just running multiple of them now. Welcome to the stream, glad to have you. What's going on? Can I read lore? I cannot. Time for the real fight, I guess. Type in the transgressor. Okay. That's a bop.
I'm gonna stream, glad to have you. Restarting stream. <sighs> Back to the jam. Pump up the jam. Pump it up. Now we're barely pumping. All right, we're back. We're gonna try again. Unpause. Welcome to the stream, glad to have you. Now we're talking, my, my stream looks fine now. It's back and it's good quality. You know what I meant, Daisy. Demon wall again. Yep. That was a fun fight. Oop, plot time. Hello, mate. Hellfire. Fuck. I had square instead of R1. Also, hey everyone, welcome to stream.
Hoo -hoo. I'm pulling a Goku. It is very much anime. And it's also very much level up. Wait, is that not a level up? Damn. Okay, still can't read lore of who the fuck Typhon is. Something like you that. Did. This, it's only a scratch. All right, go home. Ah, uh, stream's dying again. I heard my microwave going off. That's why I like to stream when nobody else is home. That's hard to do. When everyone's home today. Okay. Stream looks good again. I'm gonna unpause. We'll, we'll find you a healer. Here. No, you won't. I know who you are, and if you think, I'm going to let you have him. Think again. All right, Sid, please tell me who is that? So long. 
I thought I had all the answers. But then I met you. And I learned it wasn't a good death we should be fighting for, but a better life. It's all very well, a man reclaiming his fate. But if he can't choose how he beats it, what's the point? So, I made a choice. Yep, he's giving you Ramu. Yep, we're getting Ramu. I'm the Ramu now. Welcome to stream, glad to have you. Grip, let ember glow to kindle flames anew. Hi, Joshua. Once I can save, we'll probably be calling this, by the way, for the night. As I arrived, but a moment sooner. Do you remember me, I saw you protect them. That was very brave. I know you're there. Oh? Oh. You have learned our name. What else have you learned, Phoenix? What the fuck? My travels have revealed much about you and your ambitions. I know that it was you who tore me from my brother. And I know that it is his power that you seek. But know this. If you want him, you'll have to go through me. Very well. The breath of mine ancestors. Fill these lungs that I may dispel the songs of suffering. A disturbance. No, I will not. This is getting us nowhere. We agree. 
No more games, Phoenix. We are come to claim our vessel. And I said no. These flames are nothing. You will know what it is to burn. Yours is a fleeting form. I'm not fool enough to think I can harm you. But to protect my brother, I don't have to. Yep, and there he sees him. These are not flames of destruction. Have you forgotten already who I am? Josh was making himself the vessel. <laughs> Joshua made himself the vessel. Just try and get to my brother now. Oh, damn. At least the Wi Fi is surviving this part. This part's cool. And very plot important. <laughs> hey, Chewy. Not the trophy for it to defy your fate. Meanwhile, at the boy Titan. Oh, Gab's gonna die. Yeah, kind of is. Sid is not among the dead. Shall I send a Stolas? I don't think you'll need to. I think he came himself. Necessary. Sid's fucking dead. The 
finest silks from the master weavers of Randela. Come, come, feel its softness. Chocolate Make a nice steak, gift to your wife. Sausage, huh? all from greens-fed farm birds. None of the old courses you'll find elsewhere. Here, take a bite. Eh, we'll see. Peppers and peas, beans and beets. If he could just show up again. I'm going to stream, glad to have you. South to ease the aches of the road. I'm sorry. I wish you well, but may the mothers guide you. Calmatives, curatives, restoratives. Unguents, ointments, poultices. Calmatives, curatives. Sid is Nico Nico not coming back. Oh, it's been fun. Okay. So we just time skipped five years. It's good to see you, Sid. What have we learned? <sighs> the bearers are locked up in an old courthouse on the edge of town. And why are they... I hardly need tell you who is there to make sure they stay that way. Wait. Kuka's private guard. One second. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Did we take the title of Sid? It's a trap. Very good one at that. Read his bio. Who's by the man? The man of the rock. Yeah, I can't read Clive's bio. Another. What does he hope to gain from this? I'll have the captives free before nightfall. You do nothing of the sort. Our comrades didn't give their lives for you to get your throat slit in a god's forsaken slum. So those in the courthouse should be left to suffer. That's not what I said. I simply meant it doesn't have to be you who frees them. Do you let me read it now? No. Stubborn as the old Sid was. Just don't say I didn't warn you. You're Sid now, and if anything happens to him, we're finished. Okay, we're Sid now. Please, we don't know anything. You have to believe us. We'd help you if we could. You're helping us already. <laughs> Forgive him, my lord. He did not mean to offend. Quiet, you! No sign of Hugo. I'll wager he thinks as highly of his minions' traps as we do. Then this should be easy. Don't hurt us. I beg of you. <laughs> quiet means quiet, branded scum. <laughs> Uh. 
When he took up Sid's name as bait for Hugo, I bet. I'm guessing that's probably why. All right. I'm here to even the odds. Any objections? It's him! The outlaw! Sid's here! Okay, well, I have to do a fight as Ramu, right? It would be uh, impolite of me not to. Ten cents as regards, eh? There you go, now I can do this. Ramu channeled. Mine's a rebirth is still sick looking. Anyways, we're gonna upgrade Lemon Break. Oh, never mind then. We're not gonna upgrade Lemon Break. Girl, they brought a pet. That's not a girl. You'll pay for what you've done, Sid. Those things are fast. We'll have to be faster. <laughs> Let's try. Ah! 
There we go. I'm a Republican of War Panther slain. I'll tell Hugo. Let them. There's been more than enough bloodshed for one day. friends are dead because of you. Do you hear me? They used us as bait. Bait to lure you out of your stinking hole, all because you couldn't just let things be. What are you even doing here? We never asked to be saved. Did you think we'd thank you? They'll never forgive us. We're all marked now. <laughs> For five years, we fought to secure a better life for our kind. To see that we are treated as equals. Do you not want that? What we want is to be left alone. Every time you show your faces, it is we who suffer. It's all right. I'm sorry. Just leave us be. This is our home, and this is where we'll stay. Sid told us this wouldn't be easy. They'll come round. If you say so. We should go. Going to what remains of the hideaway. Let's see what remains. That night five years ago, we destroyed what for many was a symbol of hope. For a reason they'll never know. We cannot blame them for thinking us the cause of their misery. Though it's to give them a better tomorrow, they see only that we've made their lives harder today. Yet the boil must be lanced if it is to heal. I can't help but wonder if we've made the right choice. When Sid said that he wanted to create a world where we were free, free to choose our own path, I honestly don't think it mattered to him if that choice was right or wrong. Only that it was our own. I miss him. <laughs> A world where we can live and die as equals. That's what he wanted. What we want. And that's why I bear his name. It's why we've all chosen to bear his legacy. And... I'm not going to let anything stand in our way. 
Rides over, lovebirds, home sweet home. No, oh, so now we're a water high base. Neat. was asking after you. Let's go and see him. Uh, never a dull moment. Well, that'll have to wait. Till next time. Ooh. Uh, right now I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, upgrade the limit break. And then call it there. Hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you all next time.